Saint Joseph, husband of Mary. Saint Joseph was the father of Jesus. Saint Joseph, pray for everybody. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. So, my brothers and sisters, today brings us to the third day of our little mission, or sorry, our little reflection, our little tritium that we have been doing with St. Joseph. And we turn to, to St. Joseph, who was most prudent. St. Joseph was a wise man. St. Joseph was sensible. St. Joseph was prudent. By some standards, St. Joseph was none of these things. No. Mm -mm. Some, of, some people say St. Joseph was a stupidy. No, but not by the standards of God. To some, he would have been a laughing stock. A man who got suckered into a situation. A man who was unfeared. Mm -hmm. Taken advantage of. Scripture doesn't record a single word spoken by St. Joseph. So we have to take a look at his actions to help us figure out who this man really is. My brothers, have you ever been advised to get a second opinion? A second opinion for a job, a second opinion for a loan, a second opinion for a mortgage. Did you? Well, Joseph did. And being a typical guy like me, you and I, we always look to get second opinions about a woman, yes? Mm -hmm. Well, we know that when we was trying to wrap his head around the idea that his wife was pregnant and he had nothing to do with it that he started thinking about divorce. Yes, divorce Mary. But in the Holy Gospel of Matthew, in chapter 1, verse 24, we hear that the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and gave St. Joseph some good counsel. St. Joseph obviously had a relationship with God. And men, I encourage you, develop that relationship with God. St. Joseph was open to two-way communication and could recognize God's voice. He was clearly a man of prayer. A man who made time for God. A man whose conscience was active. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you make time for prayer? To even seek God's second opinion? Seeking God's counsel makes Joseph wise, makes him sensible, makes him prudent. In chapter 1 of, Saint, of the Gospel according to Matthew, it tells us that St. Joseph did what the angel of the Lord told him to do. He accepted Mary's pregnancy and there was no divorce. God wanted his son to be raised in a family. On two occasions in chapter 2, according to the Gospel of Matthew, we are told that the angel of the Lord gave Joseph more advice, which he gained again followed. One was to fly to Egypt with his family and 
The second, to return to Israel when it was safe. So in humility, Joseph sought God's will through prayer. And not only sought to pray with God, but sought his counsel. And he also did what God asked him to do. Some of us, we just like to tell God what to do. Some of us, we pray, but we never listen to God. And furthermore, some of us, we never did what God tells us to do. Do you take God's advice? Or do you prefer to have things your way? Joseph was kept Joseph was kept the life-giving traditions and norms passed from generation to generation. He followed the instructions of the government and above all, he submitted to God. Joseph had a plan for his life, but through faith, humility, and grace, he gave way to God's greater plan and played an important yet unsung role in salvation's history. His obedience to God is also what makes Joseph wise, sensible, and prudent. My brothers, who knows God's great plan for you? God does, actually. Yes, God knows what his plans are for you and for me. So seek God. Seek him humbly in prayer. Get to know his voice and do his will. Just as St. Joseph did the will of God. A great task. A great task. But the thing about it, when God truly gives us that task to do, that's right, he gives us the grace that we need to get the task done. Remember that God has called you to be father. God has called you to be husband. It's important. To realize God is giving you the grace to be a loving husband and a loving father. Just like St. Joseph. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. St. Joseph, most prudent, most faithful, most obedient, pray for the men of Barbados. Today we come to the close of our, our celebration. Uh, today is the Feast of St. Joseph, the Solemnity of St. Joseph. And we have something special. We're going to recite the Litany to St. Joseph and then the Consecration to St. Joseph. So I invite you to please kneel as we honor St. Joseph. Those of you who can kneel. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Our response will be, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Ghost, Holy Trinity, one God, Holy, now we say, pray for us. Holy Mary, St. Joseph, 
illustrious son of David, light of patriarchs, spouse of the mother of God, chaste guardian of the virgin, foster father of the son of God, watchful defender of Christ, head of the holy family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most valiant, Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, mirror of patience. Lover of poverty, model of workmen, glory of home life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, solace of the afflicted, home of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of holy church, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O oh God, who in thine ineffable providence this forsage to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy virgin, grant we beseech thee that he whom he, we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven who lives and reigns forever and ever. We we'll now recite the prayer of consecration. O oh, glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O oh, virgin spouse of the mother of God, O guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the holy family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your household. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O oh, terror of demons, increase in me virtue Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O oh, my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary. I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you 
I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Oh